Hello, I'm Ellen Dean and I'm coming to you from Ellen Dean Towers and today I'd like to talk to you about some food foods that can help or hinder anxiety and panic attacks. Now you might have heard of uh, magnesium which is apparently very good for your system and to alleviate some of your anxiety or panic attack symptoms. Now you can get magnesium naturally through food and I find well I found that salmon contains a lot of magnesium and bananas if you eat bananas and they also contain potassium so that's really good for your system as well and avocados they're very good not that I eat avocados in fact I don't think I've even tried an avocado but you know some people like them and uh, also one of the superfoods is beetroot now with beetroot, it's not only got magnesium, it's got iron, it's got folic acid, it's got, uh, what else has it got? Vitamin B something. I don't know what the something is because there's a lot of vitamin Bs about, isn't there? Uh, so that's really good and you can have it on wholemeal bread in a sandwich, which is quite tasty with a bit of cheese. And the cheese, of course, contains calcium. So calcium and magnesium work together. So you're under a winner there. They've got eggs. Now, I like to eat an egg omelette with spinach wrapped in inside, which both, double whammy again, is magnesium. Now, some drinks. You might look at drinks and think, ah, caffeine. Now, I've never had a cup of coffee. I know coffee has more caffeine than tea. I've never had a cup of coffee for 12, 14 years and I've never missed it. But tea, I like to drink tea. So I have three or four cups a day of tea. My other drinks are pomegranate juice and cranberry juice. I did try orange juice, you know, the um, concentrated, but I found that gave me palpitations and I don't know why. I haven't found the reason yet, but I am still researching it. Then we have, um, if you... One thing I'd better mention, that when you've eaten foods containing magnesium, or iron for that matter, if you have tea straight after, then it flushes the magnesium and the iron straight out in your urine. What you need to do is the vitamin C, it binds the iron into your system and, and the magnesium, so it keeps it in there to help your body. Now we've also got um, supplements. Now if you go for a magnesium supplement, the best one my pharmacist told me was magnesium citrate. Any other magnesium doesn't help as much, that will go straight through you. Now there's Rice Krispies or any other cereal that contains magnesium. And of course you put milk on, so you've got calcium as well. And I love Rice Krispies, plus they contain iron as well. Um, now some you might look, oh, caffeine, uh, not caffeine, chamomile tea. Very good to relax your system. And you don't have to drink it just at bedtime. You can drink it during the day. Not in huge amounts, but you can drink it during the day. And then go out, do a bit of exercise, especially when the sun's out, and then you get your vitamin D. But with vitamin D, you've got to remember that it's got to be on your skin. If you wear sun cream, it doesn't go through your skin because it doesn't go through the sun cream. Now I know that you know sun is bad for your health so 15-20 minutes a day will be good for your skin, good to get the vitamin D through and it comes from the sun you know that big yellow thing that we sometimes see in the sky here in the UK. Mackerel. Mackerel is a good source of magnesium. Don't like it, never mind. Um, what else? Oh, the soda drinks, carbonated drinks, no good. Um, I know a lot of people say, I like to drink a carbonated drink, but too much sugar and that'll go straight through your body and take the magnesium with it. And of course, um, I come across something very interesting. The Indian way of helping with, you know, sometimes you get blurred vision when you're anxious or you, you're having panic episodes, you get blurred vision. And what the Indians do is they rub their hands for 20 seconds 
and then they cover their eyes like that they don't touch their eyes they just cover cover their eyes for two to three minutes and that's supposed to work as well well I'm on with that at the moment so I'll let you know how it you know how it spans out and another thing I came across when I was looking at the Indian sites was laughter yoga now I've tried yoga it doesn't work for me I, I just can't empty my mind to do yoga but laughter yoga I can because it is absolutely brilliant and I think my next video might be about laughter yoga because it really is good for your health and there's a lot of people in the UK setting up groups here there and everywhere about your uh, laughter yoga so we'll go with that next time now have I forgotten anything anything at all or oh, dry fit or oh, hey dark chocolate I know a lot of you out there will like chocolate you can eat dark chocolate as long as it's 75 to 80 percent cocoa beans because anything less than that it, it wouldn't have as much magnesium so all you need is a little brick not a big brick a little brick a little block each day or every other day don't overdo it because you know that you've got to balance your system you can take um, squash pumpkin seeds that sort of thing not something I've tried so I can't elaborate on that one but um, some of the symptoms you might get if you are deficient in magnesium is twitchy eyes twitchy mouth muscle spasms um, weakness tiredness um, can't get to sleep or you wake up during the night can't get back to sleep sort of thing and of course stress it, you know if you if you're stressed anywhere then lack of magnesium will make your symptoms worse so try it go out there and try it eat foods with magnesium keep a food diary any problems you know go and ask your GP go and ask the pharmacist that's what they're there for and we have to help ourselves so by researching this kind of thing I think we are helping ourselves to get on the right road yogurt some you can eat but always check always check the packaging to see if there's magnesium in it or anything else and if you're on other medication just be careful because not all medicines interact with have an extra magnesium in your body for instance or extra iron or something like that so just have it all checked out first and then keep your food diary and see what happens um, and I think that's all for today um, this is me Ellen Dean signing out happy eating and all the best bye for now